I'm Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Okay, it's Saturday, so let's do an investing blog here. Talk a little bit about the stock market, investing for retirement. Uh, a couple of things came across my desk here, and I've had a couple of discussions with people on Twitter, uh, even though I don't really engage on Twitter that much, but they've thrown out a few uh, things to me here. But I've also had it in my YouTube channel here too, in the comment section. <clears throat> We've talked a few times about why financial literacy, the basics, what I preach to you guys here, spending the 100 hours or 150 hours and just learning the basics of investing, index investing, how the stock market works, how dividends work, the dividend payout ratio, how taxation works on your investments, the magic of compounding, ETFs, how to buy a home, save for the down payment, uh, how mortgages work and amortization tables work on mortgages, the principal residence exemption, all that good stuff. Why isn't the basics of this taught in school? This should be taught starting in, I think, maybe grade five or six and run all the way through high school. But yet I talk to people with kids and they tell me that very little of this is ever touched on, which is crazy to me. I saw a story just recently about a high school in the States that you know, was doing a little bit more of this. However, they got a few things wrong here. They, they, and they were criticized here. This is in the Wall Street Journal. They, they had a, a, you know, a high school investing, uh, part of the curriculum was a high school investing contest where they gave you $10,000 at the beginning of the year and you could invest that $10,000 however you wanted to and the winner would have the highest portfolio balance at the end of the year would be the winner. And it was a bit of a contest to teach people about investing in stocks. Well, they got heavily lambasted in the Wall Street Journal and for good reason because that is almost, it's, it's not investing, it's gamifying the uh, investing. What you're doing there is speculating. So the only way you would win that contest as they went on in the article was to buy penny stocks, highly speculative companies that you could get a 500 or a 1000 or a 15% return on. But there's also a very high likelihood that you'll get wiped out down to zero. So it's kind of one of those things all or nothing. And doesn't really teach kids about investing. It really teaches them more about speculating. And this is another prime, prime example of where the education system gets it wrong. Instead, they should be teaching these kids how to properly balance a portfolio, how to buy good quality dividend stocks that are kind of the base or the foundation, investing through low cost index funds through Vanguard or iShares, and then maybe allocating a little bit of that money, especially for young people, into some high growth names like a, like a Google or an Nvidia or Amazon or, or whatever. But it's a balanced approach, approach towards investing. But none of this stuff ever gets taught in school. And you know what they should be teaching these kids is just some basics that I've always talked about here. How the stock market works, it buying you know, a good quality companies like the Canadian banks or the telcos or a Johnson & Johnson or an Apple and what that can do for you over you know, a long period of time. Sure, if you wanna play with a little money and speculate a little bit, that is totally fine. Buy some Bitcoin or buy the Teslas or these you know, penny stocks, but you do that with you know, what Jim Cramer calls your mad money. You know, maybe 10% of your portfolio, not like this investment program where you'd have to put your whole portfolio into something like that if you had any chance of trying to win. And again, it's just kind of gamifying it. And that's the other thing, that's where you know sites like Robinhood, and for good reason, Robinhood is great. You know, it, it's teaching young people, it's empowering them to take control of their investment decisions and and getting their money working for them. But uh, Robinhood has come under some scrutiny lately too, in the way that it kind of gamifies these young people to get into these stocks that are highly volatile. A company like GameStop, for instance, which the fundamentals are terrible. Uh, it's not a good company at all. But of course, there's these wild swings. Now, if you want to, again, play with a little money, and you can, and I wish you luck with it. There are people out there that have done very well in, bu in buying these type of companies, the AMCs and the GameStops. But they should make up a very small percentage of your portfolio. It's not investing. 
GameStop is not, or AMC is not an investable company. They're losing money. You know, you want to be in companies that have strong, you know, wide competitive moats, strong cash flows, income, revenues, patents, good management. That's what should be taught. Things like compounding, you know, asset loca location, fees and expenses on your investments, taxes for sure, behavioral biases, um, you know, how to budget, how to borrow, how to negotiate. A couple hours on negotiating when you're buying a car or, or even buying a house, you should know some of the basics of, of that or, or negotiating to buy a new stove. You know, ETFs, index investing, opportunity costs, leverage. These things all should be taught in starting in grade school and run through high school. Prime example of that too, I'll just leave you with, you know, I, I do watch BNN, you know, the market call shows, and I've talked about this a few times before. There's some good guests on there and some bad ones, but I'm always amazed at the call-ins and the stocks, the companies that these people uh, ask about, I just laugh at. You know, people asking about Bombardier, I see that stock mentioned a lot in the call. I'm thinking about buying some shares in Bombardier. Why on earth would you buy a company like Bombardier? I'm gonna throw Bombardier under the Bombardier bus here. Not a good company, terrible. You know, they're losing money, uh, hideously bad management. Have a look at what the 15 or 20 year chart is on Bombardier. You're gonna steadily lose money on that. It's a trading stock. It's a stock where it gets down to a couple of dollars, it gets beaten up, you buy some shares in it, it goes up 20 cents and you dump it. That's what Bombardi is. That's what AMC is. That's what GameStop is. That's what a lot of these companies are. They're trading stocks. They're not investable companies. I mean, if you want to get into the aviation, a piece of industrial aviation, buy Boeing. Incredibly uh, well-managed company uh, that blows B Bombardi out of the water. And the other thing with Bombardier, you know, it's, it's got a dual class uh, share system. The stock you're buying, the shares are non-voting. It's got a controlling interest uh, with the other share class. Terrible company. They'll talk about, uh, what was it, Edmunds Life Science, a guy called in with, uh, Blackberry I see on there. Just these very, you know, not great companies. They might be okay as a trade, but these are not really investable companies. And that tells me that people just aren't doing their homework. I mean, if you've got a 20 or $30 million portfolio or even a $5 million portfolio and you wanna play around with a little Bombardier or whatever else, go ahead. But I can tell right now, these people are not in that class and they're thinking about buying Bombardier as a long-term hold or something else, forget it. Much better companies, educate yourself on this stuff. So many better companies to invest in. But it should be taught the basics of this in grade school and run all the way through high school. Why isn't it? And if you're, if you're watching this and you've got kids that are in school, you should probably start teaching them this yourself. Take the bull by the horns, get them a couple of good books, start you know, you know, feeding them some of the basics about investing because it's gonna make a huge difference in your kid's life moving forward. You've got to take control of this stuff and do it yourself. I'm Owen Big Wayne. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks for everyone who's been buying my book continuously on Amazon and reviewing it. I'll see you next week.